Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading. I thought I'd do a quick video update for the uh, plant propagation bed. I haven't done this for a couple of weeks. I think I skipped it last week. I thought I'd give you a quick peek here. You can see the uh, water system is just turned on. I'll wait until that finishes before I start sticking my hands in there to point at things. Okay, so we've got the Clonex, which was the uh, gel rooting hormone used on these over here. You can see the variegated wagala did pretty well. We've got quite a, quite a lot of survivors there. The, uh, the current bushes, yeah, they were terrible. That was terrible on those. Did not hardly set any that actually survived. So I will not be using that on that type of bush again. Uh, over here we've got the, uh, that's the take root, dry rooting hormone. You can see both the variegated wagala and the currants. We had a lot of survivors in there. And it actually propagated into new plants. We've got the Garden Safe Rooting Hormone. It's a dry rooting hormone. And that one was used for these variegated wagala, as well as these currant bushes. So we've got a lot of currant bushes that have been survivors. So that's, that's good. That proves that uh, I can propagate plants, as well as create the next generation for plants in our yard, which, you know, that's a good thing. It saves money. See our dogs. Here are our dogs that are running around on the deck back there. <laughs> be crazy. Let's get a shot from underneath here so I get a little bit of a sun background. We're coming into uh, mid September this weekend, 2017, which is, uh, these should be going dormant in about a month. Uh, they're, they're barking at the mailman. Once these go dormant, that's when I'm going to wait until we get to probably November. You know, maybe I'll wait till January and I'll take them out of here and I'm going to go and transplant them around the yard because the roots should be in dormancy and they should be hardened off at that point to where I can actually pull these out of the, the sand media because this is a pretty loose mix. As you can see, I'll pull one of these dead ones out here. You can see it just kind of comes right out. It's a real loose media just to keep it moist and let the, uh, the roots develop in pretty happy with that mix because I had a lot of survivors so next year I think I might actually propagate my huckleberry bushes which I will then use to uh, I'll chop the tops off of those and we'll take the root stock and uh, graft on blueberries so I can get some more blueberries growing in our yard because the huckleberries they just they produce such a tiny tiny little berry that really I mean it's more for the birds to eat we, we've never actually harvested any of the little huckleberries on there because they're just such a pain in the rear to try and pick off without squishing. Alright, well, that's kind of the update for the uh, plant propagation bed. Alright, this has been Brian. I better stand out in the sun here. It's a little dark. Here we go. Alright, this has been Brian from PNV Homesteading. I'll talk to you guys again. Alright, bye.